Hi, um, as Senefa mentioned, my name is Dr. Manu Shashidharan and I am a Research Associate in Infrastructure Asset Management at CSIC. Today I'm going to talk to you about an ongoing project that we have at CSIC and that would essentially aid the infrastructure owners and managers to identify risk-informed monitoring and management strategies for the critical infrastructures. So critical infrastructures like bridges, for example, they're quite crucial points of connection within the transportation network because they underpin economic vitality, social well-being and logistics of communities. And a single bridge um, will often have multiple stakeholders who will come with different priorities. And these multiple interests needs to be captured and considered while managing the bridge to improve the value of our transport systems. So while we're sort of managing these um, transport systems, it's sort of done in two levels. So while the budget availability drives the decision making at the network level, the engineering of the structural health of a bridge um, triggers maintenance interventions at the project level. Um, but knowledge on the actual condition of the asset plays a key role within the decision making at both levels. However, due to infrequent inspections and lack of a continuous monitoring at the moment, uh, we do not have adequate information on the condition of the bridge, like for example, for conditions like scars. This gives rise to uncertainties within the decision making. But there is also a lack of a business case for monitoring bridges and managing them effectively under constrained resources. Um, in the UK, 40% of our 160,000 bridges are considered to be uh, historical assets. With the current annual maintenance backlog of 4 billion, um, one of the important challenges that we are facing is to make our bridges resilient to a changing and uncertain climate. And one in 20 bridges are expected to be at high risk of failure due to climate change by 2018. As we said earlier, the bridge asset managers often need to make decisions on the basis of incomplete and uncertain information due to a lack of continuous monitoring. While the commonly employed um, visual inspection is less accurate, uh, the continuous monitoring using sensors or satellites enables a smarter and proactive asset management. It was recently estimated that every one pound that we spend on infrastructure monitoring technologies could result in a potential cost saving of over three pounds. So ideally, we need to have a risk-informed and a data-centric approach that could aid decision makers to identify value-based monitoring strategies and to deploy the constrained resources towards those particular bridges that pose the greatest threat to safety or higher socioeconomic impacts or disruptions to vital services. So to assess and maintain bridges effectively, um, I think a sound understanding of their operational impacts is quite necessary. That sort of needs to be the heart of our decision making. So in the case of extreme events like bridge collapse, flooding or damage to bridges, the unplanned loss of transport capacity um, could often necessitate traffic redistribution for a prolonged time. And this could potentially generate significant user costs due to longer travel distance, high levels of congestion, delays, um, increase in emissions and accident risks. And the prolonged disruptions can often impact local businesses and increase the risk of social exclusion for some of the affected communities. For example, the fourth uh, road bridge closure for three weeks resulted in a detour of 40 minutes per car journey. And this often became three hours due to increase in road congestions. And because of the length of these diversionary routes, there was an increasing um, shift of car and bus users to railways and additional rail services uh, were introduced to meet the demand. The closure of one carriageway alone was expected to cost the Scottish economy 650,000 pounds per day. So given the value of the bridges it has within our transport systems, it is important to be able to predict such consequences of closures or failures. Considering such macroeconomic impacts it will aid the transport agencies to identify user-centric and value-based management strategies. And a key part of um, such a process is to identify those bridges that are at the most risk while considering the operational, structural, uh, functional and environmental standing, um, while the likelihood could be governed by the microeconomic impacts that we discussed, um, sorry, likelihood governed by different contributing factors, the magnitude of these consequences could be, uh, is normally governed by the microeconomic impacts that we discussed earlier. The value of uh, information approach we are sort of taking uh, within the project will provide a standard for acquiring and using data when carrying out any management activity. 
And so comparing it together, it will sort of help us to understand what is the best monitoring strategy or technique for a particular bridge, which is assessed to be of a particular risk, or even identify which bridges to monitor and to what level should they be monitored. And having such an approach, and it sort of informs our framework for a risk-informed management of bridges, while considering the direct and indirect costs associated with bridge maintenance and uh, disruptions. The risk assessment, as you can see within the green box, uh, it sort of takes a holistic view beyond just the physical bridge infrastructure and feeds into developing a business case for monitoring and management strategies while considering a whole life perspective. And the value of information levels on your right, it sort of acknowledges that different data quality levels are required for asset management planning, both at network and project level. And it sort of shows how consideration of risks and information levels can feed into setting business policies at both levels. The outcomes from this project um, will encourage a predictive and preventive asset management regime for uh, critical infrastructures by putting into place data-centric methods. Uh, we're currently working with Network Rail and Highways England to trial the developed approach for tackling bridge scars. And if you're interested in collaborating with us, please feel free to get in touch. And um, thank you very much.